Hello everybody and welcome back to today's episode of SBK16 Career Mode. Today we have episode 10 and today we're going to be racing at the Lausitz Ring in Germany for the German Grand Prix for round 10 of 13. That's it, we're really now approaching the business end of the season. As you can see on screen, we went to the roller coaster circuit last time, Laguna Seca at USA. It's a spectacular circuit and I really enjoyed that. So be sure to go check that one out if you haven't seen it already. And for now, let's just dive straight into today's episode with the results from practice. 10 in a row, we've topped out free practice here at the Lausitz Ring, obviously a very big grandstand to the right there, on the start finish straight ahead of Giuliano, Rea and Davies, by a couple of seconds and into qualifying we were able to clinch yet another pole position comfortably in the end by 3 seconds, I was very happy with my lap time and now let's jump into the race here at the Lausitz Ring. Welcome to the grid for the Lausitz Ring. Let's just dive straight into today's race then. From pole position yet again this season, three red lights and we are underway in Germany for round 10 and we cut off Jonathan Rea and Giuliano. And in the end, the Honda sits behind us so it has been a good start from us today. We're going to go a little bit defensive into the first corner, into the S section of Sector 1, nicely hook up the bike through there, I'll go a little bit deep, that might open the door to the outside but switch back to the racing line and it's difficult there to not go on the grass and this hairpin section as well as we head towards the long back straight this is where the AI are ridiculously OP and they will gain so much time on me because of their straight line speed and into this next corner coming up here look at Van der Mark he's gonna go clean around the outside and Raya look at that you saw how quickly Raya went through there it's just unbelievable and then I get barged onto the grass by somebody so in the end it's not been a good start at all. Round the corner and up the hill try and hold it round the outside this rider in blue I think was the one who shunted me out wide in the end we are only down to P4 so ahead of us is Rea, Vandermark and Giuliano typically the title rivals however the latter two especially these two I'm catching up to now have dropped off the boil a bit in the last couple of races slight contact with the Ducati but we're going to try and use the runoff area on the left there I always do to get extra speed and gain momentum out of the corner and we've got our speedy teammate who is our main championship rival and I think will remain to be it will almost be almost confirmed in the next couple of races that only me or Rhea can win the title but a little bit of a cock up there on my part and this is another bit which I found really hard to not pull a stoppy into that corner you just I need to brake so early for it because otherwise the bike, the rear end just won't have it and it'll squirm all over the place. So that concludes the lap of the Lausitz ring and let's see what else is going to happen in this race. Onto the back straight on the last lap. We are up into P2, but again, this has been a relatively boring race. But Giuliano, that was a send. That came from the moon. And the Italian is back into second place. So, Van der Mark, I believe, is still behind me. But we're going to try and go all the way round the outside. The Italian cuts across us, but lovely little switch back to the inside. And we get back ahead of the Ducati rider there, number 34. Here we come then in towards the long sweeping right-hander. We are actually rapidly catching up to John. Jonathan Ray, you can see on the mini map, and also he's just there in front of me. So again, you saw the way I just used the runoff area. That's a quick tip for you guys if you're racing at this circuit. Come a little bit wider, allows you to get on the power early. But again, I've messed up a bit onto the grass there. Need to rejoin carefully onto the circuit. Giuliano's back through, so that might be the end of our P2 hopes. And there was Van der Mark just trying to stick a wheel in. Need to break extra early for this section. Don't pull a stoppy this time. I did on the previous lap, but again, slightly out of shape on the exit. And in the end, it looks like we are just about going to hold on for P3. A fairly decent result. In the end, the best we probably could have managed. But it's another podium in the books, and that's going to help us in the championship even more. Torres, in the end, was the BMW who was up there with the leading pack. But we're not just going to wait around. We're going to dive straight into race number two here in Germany. One, two... Three red lights and they're out and it's go, go, go for the second race at the Lausitz Ring. The 20th of the season, only six to go and this time Giuliano gets a better start than us. So does Van der Mark. We're going to have to go to the outside this time. Jonathan Rea, thankfully for me, hasn't had a great start and that was a Yamaha up there. I believe in P4 or something just behind me. You might have seen them just pop up anyway through the S's. We go for the first time. A slight bit of contact with a rider coming in from behind and now onto the back straight. This is where I'm actually just going to go ultra defensive so immediately... 
peeling towards the inside and there they all are look on the racing line the angry queue of cars right cars <laughs> too much f1 riders and look at that the honda's just getting a superb launch through there the ai just ridiculously overpowered and we've gone into van der mark no 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 that is not what i needed but look you notice the ai all slowing up in the middle there and we're straight back up into p8 so i don't know why they do that i'll have to get it up on a replay now just look at the way they all sort of slow down and just congregate in a massive group. It's actually some sort of glitch which is designed to sort of trip you up again. I don't know why it happens, but it's happened to me a few times already this season. You just ride into the back of them and then just lose so many places. So you need to be very wary of that, which is why I went all the way clean around the outside. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do again here. I believe I'm doing the making the move on Reiterberger up into the top five again. And a lovely double overtake nicely on the power early over Jonathan Ray and David Giugliano next up ahead of us though Chas Davies in the second Ducassi he's not had the best of seasons overall certainly not compared to his teammate but now we're going to try and go around the outside of him and he gets shunted wide to get a rear tyre on the grass but somehow we still do lead the race it's Van der Mark in second or no maybe it's Davies I've gone horribly wide there pulled an awful stoppy and on to lap number three, I've just been monstered on every straight today and I just find myself all the way down in P6. So yeah, this is not looking great. It's really, really not looking great. However, in the end, you know, we are still leading the championship. However, Jonathan Rea, I believe, is actually behind me. So it might not be the end of the world. I'm just massively just cocking up everything now at the moment through all these corners. It's just not been a great race weekend for me overall. Practice and quality is bog standard. But again, I've gone in too deep into the you know the long sweeping right hander and i don't need to use any of the embankments to the left there now but in the end the winner is about to cross the line i'm not actually sure who it is to be honest i've just lost count at this stage lost track of the race who is where and again onto the grass i'm just not riding very well in this second race i don't know what's happened but i've just made so many mistakes and i find myself in p6 which is obviously where we last were is not a very good comparison into the last corner it is going to be P6 here at the Lausitz ring. P3 and P6, not bad. But will we keep the championship lead as Davies has won a race? I personally can't remember the last time that happened. But look at that. Josh Brooks on the podium. De Angelis in fourth. Wow, what an exciting race that was for a neutral's perspective. In the championship, though, we actually lead by 13 points. So it's not been the end of the world that, you know, we haven't had too many good results or wins this round. But that is it, everyone, from me today. If you enjoyed, please consider like and subscribe, as that would help me out massively if you enjoyed these videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and join my Discord. Both links are in the description below, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.